In the heart of the Vatican City, a secret war is brewing. In the labyrinthine corridors of power and faith, in the shadowed alcoves of history, an age-old dispute simmers. This is the world that Dan Brown thrusts us into in his riveting novel, Angels and Demons. An audacious blend of suspense, cryptology, and history, the book serves as our guide into this clandestine world. Our protagonist, Harvard symbologist Robert Langdon, is our unsuspecting hero, a scholar thrown into a whirlwind of secrets and danger. He's a man of science, thrust into the heartland of religious power. And on the other side, we have the ancient brotherhood of the Illuminati, a society shrouded in mystery and driven by a quest for knowledge that the church might deem heretical. The stage is set for a clash of titans, a duel between faith and reason. The Vatican City, the world's smallest independent state, forms the backdrop to this thrilling narrative. Its cobbled streets, its imposing architecture, its hidden archives, all become pieces on this grand chessboard. It's within these walls that the story unfolds, where Langdon must decipher cryptic clues and navigate the labyrinth and politics of the church to uncover the truth. At the heart of angels and demons is a debate as old as civilization itself, the conflict between science and religion. Brown doesn't shy away from this theme, but rather, he delves into it, dissecting it with surgical precision. He raises questions, challenges preconceptions, and leaves us pondering long after we've turned the final page. But let's not forget this is a thriller. And in a thriller, the stakes must be high. And in Angels and Demons, they couldn't be higher. Langdon isn't just fighting for his life, he's fighting for the future of the church, the future of science, and perhaps even the future of mankind itself. With the stakes so high, every move could mean life or death. As the clock ticks, the enigma only gets deeper. This is the thrilling world of Angels and Demons, where every page turn unravels a new layer of the mystery, drawing us further into the intricate web that Dan Brown has masterfully woven. The plot of the book is a mesmerizing labyrinth of secrets and symbols, each one carrying a weight of historical and religious significance. Brown's use of these elements is not merely decorative but integral to the plot's progression, adding a layer of intellectual intrigue to the heart-pounding suspense. The ambigrams, the hidden pathways, the cryptic texts all serve to create a world that is as puzzling as it is captivating. Our protagonist, Robert Langdon, is not just a character in this world but a guide, leading us through this maze of mystery. His journey is a race against time, a battle of wits against an unseen enemy. Yet he is not a superhero but an everyman, armed only with his knowledge and intellect. His struggle, his triumphs, and his failures make the story not just an adventure but a human journey. What sets angels and demons apart is Brown's meticulous attention to detail. From the architecture of the Vatican to the nuances of the Illuminati, nothing is left to chance. These historical references not only lend authenticity to the plot, but also add a sense of wonder and awe, making the readers feel like they are part of something much larger than themselves. But the true genius of Dan Brown lies in his ability to keep us guessing. Just when we think we've cracked the code, the plot takes an unexpected turn, throwing us off balance. This constant sense of uncertainty keeps us on the edge of our seats, turning each page with bated breath. In this world of angels and demons, nothing is as it seems. Every symbol hides a secret, every code a revelation. As Robert Langdon delves deeper into the mystery, he finds himself caught in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Every clue brings him closer to the truth, yet further into danger. Dan Brown has a knack for turning history into thrilling fiction. This statement is not only a testament to Brown's storytelling prowess, but also the key to understanding the allure of his books. Brown's narrative style has always been a blend of suspense, drama, and well-researched historical facts, creating a cocktail of intrigue that keeps readers on the edge of their seats. For starters, Brown's approach to storytelling is far from conventional. He takes us on a journey through time, using history as a backdrop for his intricate plots. But this isn't just a clever gimmick. By weaving factual historical events and figures into his narratives, he gives his stories an added layer of authenticity, making them more engaging and believable. Take Angels and Demons, for instance. Brown masterfully incorporates aspects of art history, science, and religion into the storyline. The result is a novel that is not only suspenseful but also educational. Readers aren't just entertained, they're informed, gaining insights into subjects they might not have explored otherwise. And then, there's the suspense. Brown is a master of suspense, adept at keeping readers guessing until the very end. 
He constructs his narratives like a jigsaw puzzle, each piece revealing a new aspect of the story, yet leaving just enough mystery to keep readers hooked. His characters are often faced with seemingly impossible challenges, and it's through their struggles and triumphs that the story unfolds. But perhaps the most captivating aspect of Brown's storytelling is his ability to create drama. He builds tension and anticipation in every chapter, drawing readers into the heart of the story. Every revelation, every plot twist is designed to elicit a strong emotional response, making the reading experience intensely immersive. In essence, Dan Brown's storytelling is a masterclass in suspense and drama. His unique blend of historical facts and fiction creates a narrative that is as educational as it is entertaining. His words paint a vivid picture, immersing you into a world of secrets and revelations. Beneath the thrilling plot, the book raises profound questions. Angels and Demons, despite its riveting narrative, is more than just a page-turner. It delves into deep thematic waters, exploring the intersection of science and religion, the potency of knowledge, and humanity's moral compass. The clash between science and religion is a central theme in the book. This age-old conflict is illustrated through the Illuminati, a group of scientists at odds with the Catholic Church. The Illuminati's pursuit of knowledge and enlightenment is a stark contrast to the Church's faith-based worldview, yet Brown doesn't position one as superior to the other. Instead, he underscores the necessity of balance, of dialogue between the two and the dangers of extremism in both spheres. Then there's the power of knowledge. The book portrays knowledge as a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it's a beacon of enlightenment, a tool for progress. On the other, it's a potential weapon, capable of immense destruction. The antimatter in the story embodies this dichotomy. It's a revolutionary energy source, but it's also a ticking time bomb. This juxtaposition prompts us to question the ethical implications of scientific advancements, and finally, the morality of mankind. Throughout the narrative, characters are forced to grapple with moral quandaries, from the Camerlengo wrestling with matters of faith and duty, to Langdon's struggle between his quest for truth and the potential consequences of that truth. These dilemmas invite us to ponder our own values and the choices we'd make when faced with similar circumstances. In conclusion, Angels and Demons is a labyrinth of themes, each one more compelling than the last. Its strength lies not just in its pulse-pounding plot, but in the rich tapestry of ideas it weaves. It pushes us to confront our beliefs, to question our understanding of the world, and to consider the complexities of human nature. Angels and Demons is not just a thriller, it's a thought-provoking exploration of humanity's eternal dilemmas. So, does Angels and Demons live up to the hype? To answer this question, let's first acknowledge that any work of art carries subjective value. However, from a balanced perspective, Angels and Demons certainly has its strengths and weaknesses. One of the book's strongest assets is its ability to grip the reader with an exhilarating sense of suspense and intrigue. Dan Brown masterfully weaves a labyrinth of mysteries and riddles, keeping you on the edge of your seat from beginning to end. The intricate plot twists and the well-researched historical and scientific details lend a sense of authenticity to the narrative, making it a captivating read. However, critics argue that the book falls short in terms of character development. Some characters come across as one-dimensional, serving more as plot devices rather than fully fleshed-out individuals. Furthermore, while the book's fast-paced narrative is one of its selling points, it can also be its downfall, as it may leave some readers feeling rushed and unable to fully immerse themselves in the world Brown has created. Despite these criticisms, there's no denying the impact Angels and Demons has had on popular culture. It has sparked a renewed interest in religious symbolism, secret societies, and the intersection of science and religion. The book has challenged its readers to question their own beliefs and understanding of the world, and that's a testament to its influence. Moreover, the book's commercial success speaks for itself, since its publication, Angels and Demons has sold millions of copies worldwide, been translated into dozens of languages, and even adapted into a successful film. These achievements are a clear reflection of its widespread appeal and resonance with readers across the globe. In the end, Angels and Demons is a roller coaster ride of suspense and intrigue that leaves you pondering long after the last page is turned. Despite its flaws, it's a book that's worth your time enticing you to delve into the unseen world of symbols, secrets, and the eternal battle between good and evil.